I'd say it's like um, James Bond for people who don't like James Bond. The movie makes another chance he takes. Odds are he won't live you see tomorrow. Kingsman, the Secret Service. Okay, um, well, first off, I saw this movie with my brother, and I do most movies. I, do mo I see most movies with him because I don't like to sit alone in the theater because it's kind of uh, makes me look like a loser. So, uh, I saw it with him. His reaction, I'm not really sure what it was toward this movie. He's, I asked him what he thought, he said it was okay. I personally thought it was awesome, uh, very good, very well made, props to the people who made it, uh, the right balance of action, uh, jokes, very fast paced, the fight scenes were awesome, um, there were some jokes that I liked, some were kind of cheesy or inappropriate and I didn't feel, I wasn't feeling them, um, the language was pretty heavy on it, uh, but I mean, that's, that doesn't really bother me that much, because, I mean, you go out in the real world and you get the same amount of language that there's in this movie. So, uh, yeah, it was a really good movie. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty darn good. Now, a lot of people I talked to about this movie, they said that they think it's like a James Bond ripoff, kind of. I'm calling bull on that. This is not a James Bond ripoff. This is more of a James Bond for people who don't like James Bond. Because if you remember my Let's Talk Skyfall, if you watch often, and you saw Let's Talk Skyfall, you know I fell asleep during that movie. This movie kind of has the same concept. It's a secret agent, British type thing. But I don't, I wouldn't fall asleep during this kind of movie because this movie had more of the action and secret agent kind of stuff that I enjoy. Where, on the other hand, James Bond doesn't. Which is why I said in the teaser that this is like the James Bond for people who don't like James Bond. I, I stand by what I say there. And I said it before I saw the movie, when I explained it to people. And after seeing the movie, I still would explain it that way. Because I think it's a very James Bond-esque type storyline and idea, but it's not James Bond. And I think, in my opinion, I don't like James Bond, but Kingsman, I thought, was the secret agent British movie for me. So make sure you guys check this movie out. It's really cool. Uh, Colin Firth plays a uh, starring role in it. He's really good. You got Michael Caine. Uh, when it comes to British people, Michael Caine is like the top of the charts. Uh, the main villain is played by Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, he's kind of less intimidating than this because he has like a lisp. His voice is kind of weird for the uh, for a villain, but you know, he played a good job, I think. Uh, the main kid, I'm not really sure what his name is in real life. Uh, he was great though. The protagonist female, which was like this other girl that trained for the Kingsman thing. She's pretty cool. Um, the, uh, I mean, everyone is pretty awesome. Uh, it's a, uh, a heck of a movie, and uh, I think that if you guys go and see this, you will not be disappointed because Kingsman is good stuff. And some of you James Bond fans are probably like, oh, I don't want to see this because he said your, Brit your typical British secret uh, agent movie will either be Kingsman or James Bond. I think Kingsman actually appeals to everyone. James Bond just, you know, they that pertains to that particular few of James Bond fans. But, I mean, this is, this is good stuff. I mean, uh, I think that even James Bond fans would get into this. Um, because Kingsman has the appeal of James Bond, 
uh, so, you know, it's still what you like, but it also has, you know, fast-paced fight scenes that aren't really in James Bond. James Bond has more of a realistic feel to it. This is just too fast-paced to be realistic, but it's awesome. Uh, so I think that there's James Bond fans, and then there's fans of Kingsman, and then there's that gray area in between where I think that James Bond fans and Kingsman fans can come together and say, we all like this movie. And uh, so if you're a James Bond fan, don't let that kind of decide whether or not you're going to go see this movie. Just check it out, see if you like it. If not, that's fine. You can stick to James Bond. But uh, this is a good movie, and I think you guys should uh, look into it. I'm going to cut it right there, because uh, a lot of times I'm not sure if you guys like Let's Talk. Personally, I think it's kind of drawn out when I watch back and make sure everything's up to par the way I want it. Um, I hope you guys don't get bored with me just talking to the camera the entire time. Uh, if there's anything you guys want that might spice it up for you guys, uh, you can suggest that in the comments down below. Um, I want to make it as interesting for you guys as possible. Um, sometimes I add in some good jokes. Sometimes I'm not completely happy with the way that Hey, let's talk. Episodes turned out. Same thing goes for top fives, music videos, the whole kitten caboots. Did I just say kitten caboots? Kitten caboots. Yeah, the whole kitten caboots. Um, the whole thing goes for all those. Uh, if you guys have any ideas that you want that you haven't seen in the last couple videos that you liked from previous videos, or something you want to see to kind of spice up your uh, enjoyment or uh, these videos for your enjoyment I would be glad to hear it and I would be glad to incorporate it if I feel it's something I can pull off um, so leave that in the comments below I want to make sure you guys keep coming back and watching because uh, I love you guys and uh, having you along for the ride is great and views are awesome and I mean just keep it interactive that's what I really enjoy about the YouTube forum opposed to other forums of uh, entertainment. Uh, so uh, if you guys uh, make sure you like, you favorite, comment, uh, anything that you guys want to do other than hit the dislike button, uh, go ahead and do it. Um, I love you guys and thanks for watching another episode of Let's Talk. I will see you Next time I see a movie and let you know what I thought so you can watch it yourself and say what you thought and thoughts. Wow! Ooh, I think I just hit the camera real hard. It didn't look like I broke it or nothing.